girls today we shall revise two chapters from what we have done earlier okay so the first chapter that we will be revising is the sort of peace so i shall just give you the summary of the chapter first then i shall give you some questions and we will discuss the answers also so according to the story once upon a time there was a precious sword the sword belonged to a great king who led his life enjoying shows and parties once a great dispute broke out between the king and the emperor of the neighboring country war began in the initial stage the sword was very much excited but when the war began the sword became very sad it found only broken weapons and hordes of hungry and thirsty men the sword decided to live in peace one night the sword began to vibrate the other swords and armors asked the sword what it was they ultimately decided that as nobody wants war they will vibrate and make noise eventually the soldiers will not sleep at night and they cannot fight in battle on the 7th day the kings of two armies met and discussed about the situation they were facing they became friends they put an end to the war so we come to understand that it is every citizen's duty to maintain peace and harmony in the nation so that the world becomes a peaceful and happy place to live in so this was the summary or the shortened version of the story that i told you just now and uh, now i shall give you certain questions and we will discuss i will discuss the answers with you girls okay the first question is write one or two sentences about the sword of peace so the sword belonged to a king that you already know from the lesson the sword was very much precious also and it always loved peace it never wanted war and battles to happen now question number 2 is why was the sword excited as we know from the chapter that in the beginning the sword was very excited now why was the sword excited the sword was excited greatly at the prospect of taking part in its first real battle it would show everyone how brave and special it was okay girls now question number 3 how did the sword feel when they arrived first when they arrived first the sword got to see the results of the war it was very sad when it saw had nothing in common with what he had imagined it became very much sad and depressed all his excitement had gone now our next question question number 4 is what did the sword decide after seeing the results of war okay the sword decided that it preferred to live 
in peace and spend its time taking part in tournaments and competitions. But girls, I would like to tell you that for all these answers or to answer any question from this chapter, you have to go through the chapter very nicely. Okay. Now let us move on to question number 5. Why couldn't the soldiers sleep at night? We have seen it, right? Now, let us discuss the answer. Why couldn't they sleep? Due to the deafening sound made by the swords and other weapons, the soldiers couldn't sleep at night and spent the whole day catching up on sleep. Now let us move on to the next question that is question number 6. What was the contrast between the sword's expectations about the battle and the reality that it saw in the battlefield? A very important question girls. Okay. So the sword expected to see elegant shining knights triumphant with their weapons, gleaming in the sunlight. But in contrast to this, swords were broken and hordes of hungry and thirsty men he saw in the battlefield. So I hope you understand the contrast between, okay? The, the opposite things happened. What he had expected did not happen. But what he never expected, that he witnessed in the battlefield. Okay? So, now let us move on to question number 7. What were the devastating effects caused by the battle between the two armies? Everything was full of dirt and shrouded in a disgusting smell. Men were half dead and scattered on the ground, bleeding from multiple wounds. So these are really the devastating or very pathetic, depressing effects in battles or wars. Now question number eight. How did the weapons of the armies work together to stop the battle? This is also a very important question. They all started to vibrate. It gave out a low buzz. Gradually, it got louder until it became an annoying metallic noise. Okay? So, uh, this is how the weapons of the armies worked together to stop the battle. Because they never wanted the battle to happen. Okay. Next question is. What forced the armies to postpone the battle every day? The soldiers could not sleep the whole night. Day after day. And they tried catching up on sleep in the daytime. This led to postpone the battle every day. I hope you understand the answer. Question number 10. What did the kings realize when they stopped waging wars against each other? The two kings realized that the things which united them outnumbered anything that set them apart from each other. And now the last question, question number 11 from this chapter is how did the sword's strategy result in changing the relationship between the armies? When the weapons started vibrating, the noise became deafening. It reached the enemy camp and the weapons there too joined the protest. So in both the shelters of the soldiers, they passed sleepless nights and were amused by the situation. 
so these are some of the questions girls from this from the first chapter the sword of peace i hope you have understood the discussion that has been done now now the next chapter that we are going to revise today is chapter number 3 the incredible black rain okay so now i shall give you the summarized uh, note of this chapter just uh, just to make you remember the story once again there was a small boy named gus who was never happy he had his parents friends relatives a lot of toys but he was not at all happy nothing could make him happy whatever he did and wherever he went he ended up being unhappy and sad one day seeing his condition chuckles a prankster cloud started following gus he started dropping black rain on him but gus was not at all impressed by the cloud's tricks gus had a friend a happy and generous little girl named gladys she was the only friend gus had she always asked him to be happy with what he had she also said that he had a cloud of his own and its rain was black this was very unusual so he should be happy for that this was so interesting also gladys called some children to play in the black rain in the swimming pool seeing this gus gathered cats who became wet they jumped and made funny faces this made gus happy after all these gus started seeing the positive side of things chuckles the cloud left as his work had been done gus had ultimately learned to focus on the brighter side of life and above all to be happy with what he had so from this chapter girls uh we do learn certain values like positive thinking happiness contentment and gratitude okay so this is the gist the summary of the you know uh, chapter the incredible black rain i hope you remember the story in detail now i shall give you certain questions and we will discuss the answers also now the incredible black rain questions so today the first question of this chapter is why did gus complain a very important question indeed okay now gus always complained about everything he was grumpy and thus unhappy he was very unhappy for whatever he had and wherever he went nothing made him happy that is why he always complained okay second question how did chuckles treat grumpy kids very interesting one chuckles the prankster cloud as we know from the chapter its favorite trick to play on grumpy little kids was to drop heavy black rain on them okay now the next question question number 3 is how was gladys different from the other kids gladys was a friend of gus she was the only one who had been willing to hang around with gus during all those black rainy days and another characteristic of this little girl was she was always happy and she wanted to make gus happy all the time because because she was she knew that being happy all the time is very important 
Question number four. Gladys is an optimistic girl. Justify with an example. Okay. Now, yes, she is an optimistic girl because she always gave positive ideas to Gus. She always cheered him up. And you can cite an example in this answer. Uh, the, the thing, the words he told Gus about the cloud. What he said, do you remember? She said that Gus, you should be happy because you have a cloud of your own. And very differently, it gives you black rain. So, Gladys was really an optimistic girl. Okay. Now, question number five. Why did Chuckles decide to leave Gus? Chuckles wanted Gus to take things in life with an optimistic attitude. Chuckles left because he was sure that Gus would be able to manage everything and be happy. Chuckles made tricks with the kids but in case of Gus he left because he thought that his work was ultimately done. Question number six. Gus was a grumpy kid. You have to justify this question that he was grumpy. Gus was a grumpy kid. He was never happy with what he had and always thought about what he did not have. He always complained about everything. He had everything. His parents, relatives, friends, toys, but he always complained about everything in life. And the last question from this chapter is how is Gladys a true friend of Gus? A very important question girls. So uh, we can discuss this, it like this. Gladys always accompanied Gus. She always cheered him up. She told him good and positive things about the black rain. Gradually with her help Gus got changed to a happy kid. So I hope girls you have understood these two chapters that we have just revised and also we have discussed the answers to all the questions I, I have given to you. So learn all this properly and uh, do read the stories in detail very much uh, in proper manner. Thank you.